Well, today we move into the New Testament. In fact, our passage for today is Matthew 26 and verses 17 to, to 30. So we have looked for the past few days at some of the prophetic forecasts of uh, sufferings of Jesus' death uh, in the Old Testament. There are, of course, many more, yet uh, uh, the few we have examined reveal very clearly that the cross was not only built into the texture of the universe, but was written also in the texts of the Old Testament scriptures. The cross and the suffering Messiah was there clearly for those who would see it. And with that uh, precision and detail, the Old Testament writings uh, predicted the sufferings and the events associated with the cross. Charles uh, Trumbull said, there, there are no fewer than 29 Old Testament prophecies bearing on the betrayal, trial, death and burial of our Lord Jesus Christ, uttered by, by many different voices during the five centuries from the year uh, 1000 BC to 500 BC. And, and all of these were literally fulfilled within the 24 hours at the time of the crucifixion. Yes, there is a, a, a clear picture. How can anyone doubt the veracity of the Old Testament when it gives such a clear picture of the, the suffering that Jesus actually went through? A professor of Old Testament studies said that if the New Testament was somehow taken away from us and all record of it was removed, it would almost be possible to reconstruct the closing scenes in the drama of Christ's life from the, the relevant prophetic passages in the Old Testament. So much of the Old Testament is prophetic and a good deal of that prophecy focuses on the coming of Jesus, his death on the cross and our forgiveness. The shadow of the cross is not only uh, on creation, but the shadow of the cross is cast across the Old Testament as well. And it's for us to enjoy not the, the shadow of the cross, the hope of it in the future, but to live under its power, to live under its victory, to live under the freedom of guilt and the knowledge that our sins are forgiven because of what Jesus has done. So again, we head towards Easter, we prepare our hearts for it, but we can do that with an overwhelming sense of thankfulness. Let me pray for you. Father, I, I thank you that we get to experience the cross. We get to experience the forgiveness. And I pray, Father, that as we, we think daily uh, some aspect of the cross and the suffering of Jesus, you would help us to be more confident in our own salvation and know the joy of the Lord to a greater extent. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hope you can join me again tomorrow. Bye for now.